hello and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how we can use contact form 7 which is a free plugin here is my wordpress website dashboard i am going to implement contact form 7 here first let's go to plugins and add new here we need to search contact form 7 This one is the plugin. You can see. Click on install now. Now activate. So we can see inside dashboard there is a new menu named contact. Click on contact forms and here we can see a contact form which is available by default. So let's edit this contact form. Here you can see this contact form has options to collect name, email, subject and message so we are going to add another field here let's add mobile number click on tell here you can see file type if we click on required then this form will not be submitted without filling this field and for default value we can write phone and the same thing we want to use as placeholder done now we need level for this field so we can just copy from the other level field We will remove your email and just put your phone. Let's save this contact form. So this is the short code we are going to use later to display our contact form. Now let's go to mail tab. Here you can see few fields like to, from, subject, etc. So for these fields, we need to put actual value. For to section, here we will add the email address where we want to receive the submitted form from our clients or visitors. And for the from field, field we need to keep the domain email. Here you can see by default here is admin at the red domain name. So we will keep it like that and then you can see subject additional header passes body. We can keep it as it is. Inside message tab you can see all the messages which will be shown according to the submitted form status. Now let's go to all pages. We will try to add this contact form inside our page. So we are going to edit our page using Elementor as my website has Elementor as page builder. Here in the search bar we will search shortcode and we will just drag the shortcode element and drop it inside our page. So here is our form, it will look like this and the color and design will depend on the theme. 
now update this page okay here you can see inside our form only our newly added field has placeholder and other fields do not have placeholder so we will just remove the placeholder from our field so this form will look uniform now save the form let's view our form again here it is now i would like to share with you that to design the contour form 7 we need some knowledge about html and css to design we need to use these things but if you want to avoid those we have a plugin using that we can design our contact form the way we want so now let's go to plugins again and add new search for ht mega we will now install and activate it you can see inside dashboard we have a new menu ht mega add-ons let's go to settings we will just go to third party you can see here is contact form 7 option is enabled and another important thing is the mega plugin is an add-on for elementor now we will go to the same page again here instead of short code now we will use contact form 7 element from HD Mega. We need to select our contact form from the drop down. Now you can see our contact form is here and we are going to delete the old one. So here I will show you how we can design our form using this element with different styles just keep following me we are done now we can just do a test field for our contact form
thank you so much for watching this video if you have any queries about this tutorial you can just comment below and i will try my best to answer your questions and if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this take care